This trial um, is among several uh, trials now that will be launched uh, in specifically HPV positive uh, head and neck squamous cell carcinoma, um, looking at uh, HPV tumor vaccine um, added to PD-1 inhibitors, in this case, practically pembrolizumab in, the most, in most instances, and to see whether this would improve the outcome, uh, whether it be responses uh, or, of course, progression-free and overall survival. Uh, we've seen at the last ASCO meeting, ASCO 24, a number of reports looking at a uh, combination of pembrolizumab with uh, vaccines. We've seen uh, combinations with DNA vaccines. We've seen combinations with uh, peptides. Um, and they all seem to point to the fact that the combination, uh, patients benefited mostly if they had a high CPS score or high PDL1, which we know already is a sign that uh, the immune um, activation against the cancer and the recognition by the T cells against um, HPV is probably active in these patients. And so um, we know already that Pembro by itself would actually be uh, producing potentially improvement in outcome in these instances. However, the responses that we've seen exceeded 45%, sometimes 50%. And um, that is usually not the case with single agent Pembro, uh, even though we don't have really very solid data along those lines in HPV positive patients. Um, which led to essentially the interest in uh, producing or designing randomized clinical trials to answer this question. So all of these studies are trying to answer these questions and the BNT113 is one of these uh, trials that, um, that is looking at this randomization. What we're presenting here at ESMO is the safety analysis of the first 15 patients who received the combination of pembrolizumab and the, uh, the RNA vaccine in this case, the BioNTech 113 is a platform of RNA vaccine targeting um, HPV, uh, HPV E6, E7. Um, and so we're eager to learn about the uh, randomized data, but that will not be for the next few years uh, until the trial completes accrual. The trial is close to halfway accruing. Um, it's unique in the sense that um, it is an RNA vaccine, so it is uh, a little different from other platforms. Uh, so it falls under that category of uh, vaccinations. And um, we look forward to seeing uh, the final results. I have to say the safety data was encouraging because we did not see signals of uh, significant toxicity with the vaccination, except what you would expect usually from an immune activation, which uh, would include usually Usually, uh, some fevers, chills in, in, in some patients. The biomarker analysis was done also on a few patients and indicated that there is a HPV specific T cell activation that happens in the periphery, peripheral blood of these patients. Uh, and it seems to be uh, linked, at least in very few cases, to patients who uh, appear to benefit uh, with duration of response. And so um, we will definitely look deeper into these questions when the phase uh, two, this is a phase two randomized trial, completes and uh, we'll have better data analysis, of course.